Greetings everyone. Welcome to Kite Lecture Series. And in this video, we will be studying about virtualization and disaster recovery. So here I am going to discuss four ways where virtualization helps with disaster recovery. So let's find out. So virtualization can help to recover the data to any hardware. So by using virtualization environment, you don't have to worry about having a completely redundant hardware. Instead, you can use almost any x86 platform as a backup solution. This allows you to save money by repurposing existing hardware and also gives your company more agility when it comes to hardware failure as almost any virtual server can be restarted on a different server. So, the best part of virtualization is that that uh, you can create a backup in the form of images and that images can be restarted on any any server it supports any server right you don't need to worry about the hardware issues you can take the backup of your virtual machine and recover that backup on any hardware now backup and restore full images by having your system completely virtualized, each of your server files are encapsulated in a single image file. An image is basically a single file that contains all the server's files including system files, program files and data, all in one location. By having these images, it makes managing your system easy and backup becomes as simple as duplicating the image and restores the simplified to simply mounting the image on a new server. So as I have said before, taking backup of virtual machine is quite easy. When you initialize the backup, it creates an image and that image is actually the amalgamation of all the data that your virtual machine is having. So you just have to carry a single image and if you restore that image, all your data files and everything gets restored easily. Run other workloads on standby hardware. A key benefit of virtualization is reducing the hardware needed by utilizing your existing hardware more efficiently. This frees up the systems that now can be used to run other tasks or can be used as hardware redundancy. This mixed with features like VM's high availability which restarts a virtual machine on a different server when original hardware fails. or for more robust disaster recovery plan, you can use fault tolerance which keeps both servers in sync with each other, leading to zero downtime if server should fail. One of the benefits of this virtualization at the time of disaster recovery is that it is having a very high ability and you can start your server on some other device whenever this whenever this one device fails. So in this fault tolerance technique, both servers are in the sync and uh, it gives high availability because even if one server fails then other server takes up the charge and it you know provides the data easily copy system data to recovery site here they are saying that having an offset backup is a huge advantage if something were to happen to your specific location where it can be a natural disaster, a power outrage or a water pipeline bursting, it's nice to have all your information at an offset location. Offset location means remote location. Virtualization makes this easy by easily copying each virtual machine to this offset location and with easy customizable automation process, it does not add any more strain man hours to IT department. So having a recovery site on a remote location on a different location basically helps to recover data more easily because in the case of any kind of uh, natural calamity uh, your data is uh, your data can be secured. So that's all in this video guys. Thank you so much by this video. 
our virtualization series is completed thank you so much stay blessed stay fit and jai hind